Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Gio Azzarello and today I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my tips and tricks about woodworking and some of the projects that I really enjoy doing as a beginner woodworker. So a little background on me is I am 21 years old. I just started getting into woodworking a little bit during all this quarantine stuff and came across Matt Outlaw's channel. Absolutely loved it and joined the community. 731 Woodworks on Facebook. It is an amazing community and I've learned so much through it. And a lot of these projects are based off of either Matt's ideas or people in the group's ideas. And I wanted to share them with you. So as a beginner, you might not have all these crazy tools. And what I have is a circular saw, drill, impact driver. I got some clamps and uh, little odds and ends here and there. Uh, some cheap chisels and just other like necessities such as tape measures, pencils, and glue. So if you have all that stuff and you're ready to get started, you can make these projects too. So number one is a blanket ladder shelf. Super easy. I think I used one by fours or one by sixes and just stapled them all together and glued them up. And that was pretty much it. I got the circular saw, I cut them the way I wanted them, and that was pretty much it. The dimensions ended up being about four feet tall, and I wanna say about two feet uh, wide or two feet like uh, long, you know? I'm not sure what that dimension is, but that's why we're learning. And with that one, it probably took me about three hours to make just because I'd never done any kind of woodworking project and I'm not the best handyman I gotta admit it but that's why I'm learning and that's why I'm trying to grow. The second thing was a pallet dog bed. So my dog needed a outdoor bed to just sunbathe and you know just chill out you know and I found a really good pallet out behind Home Depot. Uh, always ask before you take the pallets, but you can find pallets everywhere. So I grabbed this pallet very clean and uh, strong. I ended up cutting it up, found these perfect little pieces to make a dog bed, and this is what it looks like. So all this was some brad nails, some glue, and clamping it all together for the most part. Um, I don't believe there was any screws involved or any holes drilled or anything like that. Uh, it was more just cutting and then uh, gluing and stapling it back together. So if you can glue and staple things together, then you can make the dog bed. The third thing I would suggest beginner woodworkers create is benches. Super easy. I just basically made two rectangles and then screwed two pieces of, uh, I believe they were two by sixes. Uh, to the top and there was my bench. I stay in the top and it didn't come out as pretty as I wanted it to But it's a bench. It can hold probably up to a thousand pounds easily uh, I've sat on it with a couple of buddies and we were more than a uh, I would say 700 pounds and it didn't feel like it was gonna the length of it. I think was around four feet so it really is only meant for two people but and it was a lot of fun making super simple again just uh making square boxes and then putting the two pieces of wood onto them very easy and simple that one maybe took me an hour and a half super easy and cheap that is one of the most important things i wanted to get into is just create cheap projects they don't have to be hardwood projects that cost $300 in materials and screws and glue and blah blah blah. Create cheap projects. Under $50. Just look Google. Woodworking projects under $50. You will find plenty of them and I promise they are awesome to make. The fourth thing I, I made as a beginner woodworker is a desk. It wasn't the prettiest desk. It wasn't the best desk in the world. It kind of wobbles and does a little dance when you press on certain parts of the desk. But the beautiful thing about desks are you can put little feet that level them. And that's what I did. So now the little shake isn't on the desk anymore. Uh, this one was 
definitely my most expensive project as I had to buy a lot of lumber for it. Uh, I think it ended up costing me about 70 bucks in materials, which compared to a lot of people, that's not very much. But for me, that, that was a lot of money because I didn't know whether I was going to mess up a piece of wood and have to go buy another one. If it was even going to come out like good or stable or anything, which it ended up uh, coming out really beautiful. And I'm going to throw a picture right here and you guys let me know what you think. Uh, we actually ended up using it for our living room desk uh, for our family computer. I was originally going to put it in for my uh, own office, but we decided it'd be better suited for the living room. The fifth thing I want to let you guys know is coasters. Coasters are dope because you don't have to worry about food spilling or touching it, the wood and getting it contaminated and whatever all that gross stuff is. Coasters, you literally put your water bottle or beer or whatever consumption of liquid you might be drinking on top of it and then so it doesn't ruin the other wood of tables or glass or whatever else uh, you might be putting your beer or soda on. So I would highly suggest coasters. Here is one that I made recently. It was my first coaster. All I literally did was grab a piece of wood that was just extra cut it to the dimensions that I thought were cool. I cut that piece of wood in half, got another little thin piece of some, I wanna say it was pallet wood again. I cut that into a little thin strip, glued it all together. I chamfered the edges with a router and that was pretty much it. Threw some mineral oil on there to finish it up and it actually looked really nice. Uh, there wasn't anything crazy to it. It maybe took me 30, 40 minutes to make it. I could have probably made a set of six. I probably could have made a set of six in about two hours. So it is super simple and something you can use every day. So if any of these ideas did inspire you, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to creating new projects soon. Peace.